Welcome back, everybody, to At the Van Wazel. I'm Mary Bensel, the executive director of, of the hall, and I have here with my with me my friend Julia Mays, our marketing director, and we had a great summer. And we just finished three of our four Friday Fests. We still have one coming up yeah. Yeah. September 16th, and uh, it's called the Bird Street Players. And I tell you, the Friday Fests have been so wonderful this year. Oh my gosh, so much fun. Thankful oh, that and the rain sunny. stayed away. And, and the funniest story from the last Friday Fest, uh, well actually it was two Friday Fests ago, was um, somebody came running up to me and saying, there are two women up on the top of the roof of the Van Wazel. Oh, this was hilarious. You know, taking pictures. And I'm like, oh my heavens, you know, what are we going to do and so I call the police and the police come and who is it but two of our maintenance men taking pictures for you <laughs> <laughs> and they, and they were great, great pictures, pictures. <laughs> but I thought they don't look like women at all <laughs> both of them had beards otherwise you know we might have some not attractive not ladies be, here yeah, you know <laughs> oh gosh that was so but funny anyway, come to our last Friday fest to make it the best season we've ever had a Friday fest but it is what I always call my most exciting exciting time of the year. Yeah, mine it's, too. it's the Christmas of the Van Wazel, you know, when we get to unwrap the whole box of new shows. And we've talked about some of them that are already on sale. Yes. And I think we should go through them first. But right here, we have um, Jim Henson's puppets. And now these are puppets for grown-ups. In fact, the sheriff and the police chief have been telling me they have found them in their jail. They are getting in trouble day in, day out. <laughs> I heard they were in the commission chambers, you know, going behind the city commissioners on yep. TV. They're just terrible. But how did these naughty puppets come about, Jules? Well, actually, Jim Henson, who originated the first puppets, the real puppets. Um, Muppet well, you mean puppets, like, like uh, Kermit, Kermit and Miss Piggy? Uh, yes, absolutely. Miss Piggy! <laughs> Um, was wonderful. I, I, I mirrored her and career. Her, yes, you did very well. <laughs> and behind the um, the scenes, when they were always on commercial break, um, his son and all the other puppeteers back there would do their own renditions, kind of like an improv of what they thought the puppets really should be saying. And, and the puppets so, say <laughs> some really bad things and, and do bad on, puppet things. Yeah, it's, ba it's based on, you know, it's an improv. So it's based on what audience we have and what the feedback from the audience is. It on should what be they so cool. Oh, and that is, um, that is on October the 5th. And um, I tell you that um, think about Avenue Q and how much fun those puppets were. So even though you may say, why would an adult go to see puppets? Well, this is, and it's become a new thing because there's a great um, ventriloquist that's a comedian out yeah. there. And, and this is going to be the hit of the year, believe me. And, and even teenagers. I mean, this is great for teenagers also because they oh. want them to participate yeah, in they're the not that naughty. They're, they're not that naughty. They're no. not, and it they're just naughty. depends on what the, what the audience gives back. Right. So, and then yeah. there's a lady that we have tried to get for four or five years around here. Her name is Katie Lang. Many of you may have seen her on the Olympics. She was on the Canadian version of the Olympics. Mm -hmm. She has the most gorgeous voice. I, I mean, she just put chills down my back. And that is October the 9th. And you're, and the you know, sis boom bang, and the sis boom sis bang, boom bang. <laughs> and and the thing is, you're not going to get probably a chance to see her again because it took me this long to get her yes. to come. So get your tickets now, and they are on sale by, either on our website or by calling what nine five three 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 six eight. Look right. at you! I know. Woman. I've only been here four My years. Must have been back. that trip to Hawaii. I've got huh? half the I've Woo. got half the numbers down. <laughs> well, next year I'm going to South Africa. Just imagine uh -oh. what I could do. I don't, you I'm know? not sure. That's scary. I know. And then <laughs> it, going from Africa, we going to Ireland and Celtic Thunder, which is well over 50% sold out now for oh, yeah. a show that's in October. And these guys are cute. And they are hot. They've been up at Ruth Eckerd Hall and, and all around the country. They're, they're just fabulous. And, and coming to us again. Yes, on excited. October 14th. Well, actually, they've never been here. Oh, that's right. They haven't been here. They have never right. been here, but they are going to take... Sarasota by Irish Storm, I'll tell you. And then probably the biggest show of the year is coming. The biggest show of the year. Um, as Julia said, I was, uh, I was flying across the country on vacation, and I happened to be in Hollywood. And um, I was on the plane, and just so happens I'm sitting next to a producer on the plane. I said, excuse me, you know, I'm in the theater business, and we get talking, and this one guy is actually Frankie Valli's manager and is and, and involved. It's so amazing, such a I small know. world, isn't it? And then it? I was telling him, we have the biggest star of all time, Dolly Parton, coming to town. And he's like, do you know 
She's playing tonight at the Hollywood Bowl, and um, she played the night before, and she was sold out both performances. So you think that we, and she was on Jay Leno the same night, and so who would think little Sarasota, but it, beautiful Sarasota, could get a star of this magnitude who's selling out the Hollywood Bowl. That's I mean, amazing. two nights and in a she, row. And you know, she's only doing two dates in Florida. I know. At all. And, I, and she's we never been here. Fortunate to get her. And she, I, I was lucky enough to meet Miss Dolly, and she is one of the nicest, most down to earth. I mean, what you see is what you get, and, and you get a lot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and she is gorgeous. And she'll tell you that. And she'll tell you that. <laughs> and she'll tell you where she got it, too, yeah. you know? <laughs> but Dolly. Um, They're all mine. Uh, you know, and I had a lady tell me she had, uh, she wasn't a Dolly fan, and but she'd gotten some tickets to see her in, I guess, Atlantic City or somewhere, and she said it was the most exciting, fabulous concert she'd ever seen in her yeah, life. She's wonderful. And she's getting rave reviews on this concert tour, and her new album, um, I believe it's A New Day, or a new um, day. has been getting just rave reviews. People Magazine went wild over it. So Dolly Parton is so exciting, and again, folks, buy your tickets now. There's still some left, um, I believe, and the phone number is 953-3368. And Julia made an excellent point while we were talking here that people, make sure you go to the Van Wazel website, www.vanwazel, V-W dot. A, yeah, v, Van Wazel, spell it out, V-A-N-W-E-Z-E-L dot org. That is our official site because it is very important because there are secondary ticket markets out there where they resell the tickets at enormously inflated prices. And makes it look like it's our website. They have a picture of our and, you know, theater and everything. So. And they won't necessarily, and then when you come with your ticket, we don't know that whether that will yeah. be an actual ticket. So please go to our website and say that again, Jules. Van Wazel, spell it out, www.vanwazel.org. -E okay. Now, we are opening that package of shows that we haven't talked to you about before, and we're going to have a phenomenal season this year. And, and I can tell you there's still five or six more shows than what we've already talked about. But um, on September the 10th, Saturday, September the 10th at 10 a.m., tickets were going to be going on sale. And then we're also going to have them on sale on Sunday, September 11th. And something that's, we're going to be open at 10 a.m. And then we're doing something really special. We're um, collaborating with the Sarasota Orchestra to do a great concert um, as a tribute to 9-11. And that will be that night, September the 10th at 7.30. And the, September the 11th at 2.30. And there'll be lots of great patriotic music. Um, it will be phenomenal um, visuals, um, and it is the 10th anniversary of 9-11, and we, will, we in the orchestra wanted to pay tribute. And after um, we're donating the hall, and they're donating their core orchestra, and um, we're, the proceeds are going to go to three great charities that um, really help with responding to crisis. Yeah, I think and, it's wonderful. you know, so many people were lost that day. Summon the heroes. Yeah, summon the heroes, and... Um, you know, they, the heroes weren't just at the uh, trade centers. The heroes were also in Pennsylvania um, and at the Pentagon. And um, we all know where we were that day. And uh, I just think this is going to be a wonderful thing for the city. So yeah. summon the heroes. Be here. Buy your tickets on sale. And then stay and see a great concert. And so that is very special. But we have a great, um, in addition to the shows we talked about for October, starting in November, we start with one of my favorite bands, Huey Lewis and the News. Oh, I am so excited about them. Coming. I know. Yeah. It's, it's very like, exciting. It's, it's, it's so fabulous. So we have Huey, and then we go right into Capital City. And he's never been here before either. I, I don't think. know. I don't, I don't know. Have, but, no. uh, you know, I, I had a story where I actually was staying somewhere where he was staying, and they actually played in this little restaurant's bar, and it was one of the coolest nights of my life. Oh my and gosh, he's so handsome, wonderful. and oh my gosh. But you didn't see anybody on the plane with him. No, 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 he wasn't on my plane. <laughs> but Huey Lewis the News, November 1st. And then we have Capital Steps coming, and who knows with what's going on in the political world what Capital Steps is going to come I'm up sure with this time. I'm sure it'll be very funny this and time. And it will be very relevant because it'll be close to the election on November 3rd. And then Audra McDonald. Audra McDonald is one of my favorite Broadway stars. She's won four Tony Awards, and she won for Carousel and for Ragtime and all sorts of great shows. 
She is about to open on Broadway in Porgy and Bess. She's going to be the, the, the gala at the Naples Philharmonic down the road from us. And, and there's a little twist now on, I uh, yeah. understand. Well, there's some controversy about the book and the changes in that, but she will be singing here in concert. And the other thing with Audra is Audra, of course, was the star of Private pa Practice on television, which is, um, you know, one of which my a lot of favorite television shows for. to watch. So yeah. that's still running on the air. So Audra is fabulous. You will not hear a better singer than Audra McDonald. Now, we will be back at the Van Wazel, which is very noisy today because we have a show getting ready for us behind us and so all sorts of people are walking in and out so if you hear someone that's what's going on but come back and we will tell you more of what's going on at the Van Wazel. Did you know City of Sarasota drinking water is very safe? Tested every two hours. Delivered right to your house. Much more affordable than bottled water. Environmentally friendly. And it tastes good. City of Sarasota water. Safe, affordable, environmentally friendly. And welcome back, everybody. And one thing I should have mentioned, because I was going over all the October shows that are already on well, we sale. We have so many fun things. What we do is that we have the President's Own Marine Band here. And they are doing a free concert here at the Hall. And they're going to be here on October 17th. And tickets, I believe, I don't know if tickets will still be available at this yeah. point because they, you know, with free concerts, they pretty well go very fast. But I'm very excited to be doing another two kind of special concerts. But for, check in with us because yeah. if we don't have tickets for that, we'll have sex tickets for something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we go on with a favorite from last year, Benice oh. and his Spanish guitar. Sexy I went boy. to that show. He is Isn't so he? gorgeous. Yeah. And the music and guys. The, the girls he brings with him to dance flamenco, oh my goodness, and great set values, and that is on no, um, November the 9th, and you'll probably see him and his gorgeous long hair on, on PBS. And then, um, not, not a show that we're presenting, but we're really glad to have the Sarasota Ballet coming back with us, and they are coming with Suzanne Farrell's company from the Kennedy Center, and I remember when I was a young girl, I, well, not too young, but because I'm old, but, no, um, you know, <laughs> at the, I watched Suzanne Farrell when she did, she was the prima ballerina for George Balanchine at the New York, um, uh, New York ba City Ballet, and um, her company is going to be here in the and the Sarasota Ballet is going to dance with them, and I'm really excited about it. And it's going to Excellent. be, and we'll, yeah, we're we'll excited have somebody to have from the back. ballet to talk about that yes. later. But then we go to the other extreme. Tell me about Mr. Bob Saget. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's not going to be on stage. Maybe what you see on television. No, he's not Uncle, uh, <laughs> not Uncle Jesse. But he, you know, he was on Full House, yeah. and of course, Wonderful, one day though. at a, um, was it one day at a time? I can't remember. He one was day on at two. A time. No, he was America's no, America's funniest America's home videos. Home videos. But if you saw him on on um, on Entourage, that is more like the Bob Saget. It is very very funny, that. hysterically, but very racy stand-up comedy, and that is on November 19th. And then we start getting into the holiday season, and it's always our first show in the holiday season is Dave Koz, and he is adorable, talented. He has a phenomenal holiday show. It's on November 26th. I think it's the 13th or 14th year he's been here. I brought, I brought my sister's teenagers here. They just loved it. Because it's hot. It's, it's hot. It's hot I mean, and it's exciting. Just it's just a kick. And then show. we have one of the Tony Award winning best musicals in the Heights. And that's coming um, Thanksgiving weekend on Sunday, November 27th. And In the Heights won the Tony Award. And it's written by these great guys that, you know, it's set in the Heights in New York City. And there's a little bit of rap and a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And the music, and it's Hispanic and American. And it's, this is a great show it's, for it's young. It's a wonderful 
people program for for oh. younger people exactly. But and, for and you know, I I was out with some the friends. The Sarasota premiere too. Oh, I know. And I was out with some friends, and and they were probably in their 60s, and they were like, I saw that on Broadway. You will you'll be sold out. So I mean, it's a show for all ages. That's great. And then we can't spend too much time on every show because right. gosh knows we have Masters of Illusion. We only have a 30 minute show, you know, yeah, Julia. They should I give know. us a full hour. I think they want one. I, you know, I think we warrant it. People on, are always saying, right in. you're the TV lady, <laughs> you know? But anyway, um, we have Masters of Illusion coming, a great holiday magic show with tigers and disappearing this and that, and it's all going to be great, great drama and great fun for the whole family, and that's December the 2nd, and then coming back is... Rain. Rain. And this is a wonderful production. I mean, yeah. if anybody saw it the last time it was here a couple years ago... It's been ago, sold out every it's time. It's been sold out every time, and people keep saying, please bring it back. Please bring it back. And they've taken it to Broadway. I saw it on Broadway, and this, of course, is the story of the Beatles, and it is fabulous. And, and you don't leave... I've seen it now four times, and each time I'm more excited yeah, than the last. It's, it's wonderful. And then for the holidays, we are bringing in the New York Pops, and they are coming in with their whole large orchestra and a special guest star. John Pezzarelli. John Pezzarelli, yep. and who is a Sarasota about, um, favorite. Jessica Moisley. Yes, so um, oh. that is on December the 7th, and that is going to be a great holiday pop show. And then th this year we thought, rather than bringing Christmas Carol back every year, let's try something a little different. And it, Christmas Carol will be back, but we're going to do one of my favorite adaptations of a movie, Miracle on 34th Street. Yeah, I and, think that's going to be fabulous. Oh, that movie with, you know, yeah. Natalie Wood as the little girl and, yep. and believing in Santa Claus. And then keeping in the holiday tradition, Shrek our green guy, <laughs> our little green buddy. <laughs> He's our green, big, big green yes, buddy. That's and right. Shrek has been a movie, a cartoon. He's been, you know, a Broadway show. And um, I'll tell you, I took my niece to see Shrek along with, um, I think it was Billy Elliot that won the Tony that year, and she loved Shrek better than anything. And the characters are great fun, and it's here for two nights, yeah. and that'll and be here December 14th and it's 15th. It's also a Sarasota premiere, and at the at the title we call it Sarasota is Getting a Makeover. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> and then we gotta go on. We have Sinbad coming. He's the great, clean comedian who's a lot of fun. He's like six feet tall, and I'll tell you some stories about Sinbad, because I've presented him before, and I know him well. Good family show. And then the Irish tenors, Christmas show coming, yep. and then Kenny G is coming back <gasps> Finally, after, yep, a after long so time, many years. and this is going to be his holiday show, and he looks so great. And then Straight No Chaser, and I should have mentioned Straight No Chaser is also on sale right now. You can buy your tickets now. The rest of these shows you can buy December, um, it's December, listen to me, yeah. <laughs> September the 10th, but yes. um, Straight No Chaser is this a cappella group. They started out on YouTube, and they are a phenomena. And my girlfriend is flying in from New Jersey just to just see the to show. Just to see them. And fabulous. then we're going to have a production of Nutcracker here, and Salute to Vienna ends the holiday season. Then we change into rock and roll mode. And with, funny. And funny. January 3rd and 4th, yep. Rock of Age is a great Broadway show. We both saw it together. Yeah, it, it was, was so, it was much, so fun. much fun. It, it really, really was. And it features the songs of Poison and Motley Crue. And, you know, it's funny. Um, Brett Michaels played in yep. a scene on the Tony Awards, and that's when the curtain came down on his head, you know, and the whole thing. But he um, he's just such a one, wonderful, I watched him all through um, the, he's not in our production, I don't want to lead you astray, but they're also making a fabulous movie of Rock of Ages that may be coming out around the same time, starring With Tom Cruise, Tom your Cruise. favorite boy. There you go. So um, <laughs> come see Rock of Ages here. It's a great, fun, funny, hot, hot, great music. And then we go to Africa. We go back to Africa. There you go. And with Step Africa. And I'll tell you, it's being sponsored by one of my friends who has opened a new store over in um, St. Armand Circle, uh, Touch of Africa. Yeah. So we'll have to have him on as a guest. Because, I would love that. Oh, that would be yeah. great. But I this think. is going to be great African step dancing. And we'll have a lot to tell you about that closer to that. Then we have the one, the only, Miss Liza Minnelli coming back. And Liza, I saw on Broadway a couple of years ago. She's phenomenal. She was supposed to be here two years ago got a knee replacement, something that I'm doing. And, you know, now she's all ready to go. And I'm excited because she's one of the greatest performers of all time and with what a what a family legacy. And then somebody I've presented before but whoop, never whoop. been here, <laughs> but Whoopi Goldberg. Hold on to your hats because Whoopi <laughs> will say anything and everything. And she is great fun. She takes questions from the audience. And, you know, you see her on The View, but I can guarantee you, you'll get a little more excitement going on here at the yeah. Van Wazel. And pay attention. 
attention because some of the lines just keep going oh and you got to catch them. And you know, we met Whoopi this summer again yeah. because she's producing a new show on Broadway um, based on the movie um, Sister, Sister, uh, Sister Act. Act. So she's, she's just a hoot. And then we have, every year we have an acrobat team and the Golden Dragon acrobats. Last year I was afraid the acrobats were going to follow the audience and they were so exciting. And, and these are acrobats and they'll straight probably make from you China. feel the same from this. I know, I know. <laughs> I, may, I may have to stay home because it's so exciting, yeah. you know. And then we have Blast, which is a great Broadway show. I saw it when it opened in Boston. And this is a great one for anybody in your family that enjoys music and marching bands. We have an Elvis birthday party show. Um, we're bringing back doo the doo-wop show. Julia could barely sit in her seat. I mean, I think she met a new friend for life. They were talking the whole show about people they had seen, but it was- We the, knew every song. You knew every song, and I'm like, <laughs> what? But it was a great show and fun. And then we have one of the big five orchestras coming, the Cleveland Orchestra, and this is going to be, and their program is so fabulous. When you get our brochure, and call in and get a brochure. If you don't get one in the mail, give us a call. Yeah, we'll get it right out to you. 953-3368, or you yeah. can also uh, get the brochure online yes, these days. We'll have it, it's up online. It'll be online. And then we follow it with the music of ABBA. And, you know, every song from Mamma Mia to Money, Money, Money. And this is a, this is a fabulous tribute group right out of Sw uh, Sweden. And they are phenomenal. And we got Tim Conway coming back. Tim Conway is coming back, and Tim Conway does not make you stop laughing. No, he is so funny. He is so funny. And then we have Damn Yankees. Damn Yankees. damn Yankees. People are still saying damn Yankees. <laughs> <laughs> I sort of like to say it. Damn those Yankees. Yeah, damn those I'm Yankees. a Phillies fan, I'm you know. A, I'm, a, I'm a Yankee fan, so go Oh, Yankees. gosh. <laughs> well, you know, we just lost half our audience because they're, you know, rooting for. Uh, Gotta see damn Yankees, though, because They're rooting for hilarious. our people up north, yeah, you know. I mean, I hear but, you. Um, <laughs> and, and that's going to be a great show. And whatever Lola wants, and I hear you trying to talk the producer into changing the song to whatever Julia <laughs> wants, and I'm very much against that. <laughs> And then we have Kenny Rogers coming with the gambler. And he was so cute when he was here he was. about three with years his ago. Little his little sons, oh, they were like two. On stage. They were little twins and they yeah. sang and I hope they come back. You I know, do too. they were phenomenal. And then, you know, this is a song that a song, a show <laughs> that they, you know, male intellect and oxymoron. Now I just don't understand that, that show. That is hilarious. What is that about? That is so funny. <laughs> men, women come. He explains the difference between men and women and why. Men think so differently than we do, which I've seen the show. I presented yeah. it in Philadelphia for two yeah. weeks. We and did it in, in South I learned Florida. a lot. And do you think that helped me one bit? No. You know, here I am. Then Michael Feinstein is coming with his Sinatra show. I think this is going to be fabulous. This is Michael Feinstein's yeah. best Absolutely show. Absolutely fabulous. So. And then we have Josh Bell, the greatest American violinist, the Blues Brothers tribute, Forever Tango. I'm still in February. We have cats coming. Yeah. We Forever have, Tango with Cheryl Burke, too. And then we have Man Mandy Patinkin and Patti LaBelle together. You saw them alone. Patty now Le you're seeing them. Oh, God. What did I say? Patti, Patti LaBelle. LaBelle. But well, that she would be a great, great show too. also. That would have been great. But <laughs> Patti LaPone, you saw them apart. You see them together. <laughs> Diana Krall is coming. Um, Alvin Ailey, Linda Etter, and Tom Wopat, the Golden Boys, the Irish Rovers, Swan Lake, Frankie Valley, Lily Tomlin. We might have to come back for another show. Pink Floyd, a Jew Grows in Brooklyn, Celtic Goddess, Drum. I'm just rattling through here, folks. Tommy Toon. Met him at a Christmas party. He is that tall. <laughs> and another friend I think you yes. knew, too. Yes, Ms. Okay, Brooke we won't Shields. go into that, though. But um, <laughs> the five Browns, 104 years of Broadway, Steve Solomon makes everybody laugh till they cry, Bowfire, Young Frankenstein, Neil Sedaka, Tony Bennett, oh, and I'm then you, great um, lineup. Fiddler on the Roof, the Joffrey Ballet, South Pacific, Sergio Mendez with a hot, <gasps> hot John, John Sicada. But some of us think Sergio is kind of hot, too. Well, my day. That's John Sakata, oh, yeah. but anyway, we can fight it out backstage. <laughs> yeah. And then Burn the Floor is coming, and then we are ending the season so far with Yanni. And Yanni has sold out everywhere on tour. He is one of the most gorgeous, you know, We've what got a lot of all these gorgeous men. I don't know. But I, he plays the piano there. so brilliantly <laughs> and so theatrically, and I, I still remember his concert where he played the piano in Greece in a temple. Oh, yeah. it's fabulous. But anyway, we have new seats this year. We have a great education program. This is going to be a fun-filled, fabulous I mean, you, year. We said that last year, and we well, had we so mean much it every fun, year. <laughs> and I think this year we've topped it. There you go. Oh, okay. I'm so excited. There you go, girlfriend.
So everybody, awesome. come, come back to the Van next Wazel. month to At The Van Wazel. Thanks to everybody.